wasn't just a boxer, and that's why he appealed to so many people around the world. I put together a mashup of some of the best sound we heard today on Ali's Impact. Ladies and gentlemen, last night we lost an American icon as three-time heavyweight champion and Olympic gold medalist Muhammad Ali passed away at the age of 74. Ali will be remembered not only as a boxing champion, but as a civil rights champion as well. The legacy of Muhammad Ali is not that he just floated in the ring, but they stood up outside the ring. I mean, he was like Golden State on the basketball court now. Right? He, he, it was like watching somebody, you couldn't decide, is this guy a boxer or a ballerina? <laughs> and the way he moved, the speed, the grace. I want to come back and settle this whole thing with George Foreman. And for old time's sakes, I want to whoop Joe Frazier again right there in Madison Square Garden. Now I'm tired, I got to go to work. I ain't got no time to be hustling and jiving. I'm going to work. He inspired, as I say, all fighters. Mm -hmm. And not just all fighters, but people in general, the working class. Muhammad Ali lived a life so big and bold, it's hard to believe that any one man could do everything he did, could do all the things he became in the course of just one lifetime. I've been proud of him since 64, you know, 60s, you know. Uh, had a lot of controversy, and I don't think people stood behind him like they should have at first. I can drown a drink of water and kill a dead tree. Wait till you see Muhammad Ali. He was the greatest of all times in his sacrifice, in his dedication, and in his commitment. So yes, he could beat everybody in the ring, but don't reduce him to just another boxer. He was a historic figure that changed history. And as he walks into the ages, Let's know who he is. Give a Harlem salute to the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Good stuff there. What a legend. That's sports. We'll be back.